Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're examining our picks for Blackadder Where Are They Now? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the famous cast from the iconic sitcom and what they got up to after the main series ended in 1989. If a new Blackadder series was being made today, what historical event would you like it to be set in? Let us know below. Miriam Margulies What he is trying to tell you is that you appear to be wearing a pair of devil's dumplings! <laughs> After appearing in The Blackadder as Infanta Maria Escalosa of Spain, Miriam Margulies would then join the cast in Blackadder 2 as Lady Whiteadder plus Blackadder's Christmas special in 1988 as Queen Victoria. She then picked up a BAFTA for her work in 1993's film The Age of Innocence, and hasn't stopped working since. But most famously, Margulies sprang into magic by becoming Professor Sprout in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. On top of her amazing acting and voice work, Margulies has developed a reputation as a thoroughly entertaining presenter and interviewee who always speaks her mind, even if that scares TV producers. Gabrielle Glaister Unusual name for a girl? <laughs> Oh, yes, it would be an unusual name for a girl, but it's a perfectly straightforward name for a young chap like you, eh, Bob? <laughs> Fans of Blackadder will always hold the image of Rowan Atkinson speaking the name Bob in an exaggerated fashion for his love interest. And the person behind the character was Gabrielle Glaister, who appeared in Blackadder 2 and Blackadder Goes Forth. Afterwards, she then became a legendary figure in the world of soap operas. Firstly, Glaister played Patricia Farnham in Brookside for several years. She also popped up in Family Affairs, Emmerdale, Doctors, and most recently, after having played Debs Brownlow back in the 2000s, she debuted in Coronation Street as Fern Linden, a lookalike for Bernie Winters. The idea for this was by Bernie performer Jane Hazelgrove, who said she and Glaister were regularly mixed up. Rick Mail. Flash by name! Flash by nature! <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! After working with Ben Elton on The Young Ones, Rick Mail found himself involved in the first series of Blackadder as Mad Gerald. But then, in the second series, Mail's iconic character was born, Lord Flashheart, a role he reprised in Blackadder Goes Forth. While he was only in one episode in these series, Mail stole the show. Afterward, he was soon showcasing his talent as one of the UK's best comedy performers as he co-created and starred in Bottom. Mail even won an Emmy for his voice work as Mr Toad in 1996's The Willows in Winter. Mail's high-octane performance was even still on display in Man Down alongside Greg Davies in 2013. Sadly, in June 2014, Mail passed away from a heart attack. Patsy Byrne. She could say nothing but Lizzie go plop plop. Lizzie go. <laughs> Having made her screen acting debut in 1962, Patsy Byrne was a veteran by the time she joined the cast of Blackadder 2 in 1986 as the lovable Nursie. She then reprised her role for the specials Blackadder Christmas Special and Blackadder Back and Forth. Byrne then worked with Tony Robinson on his show, Made Marion and Her Merry Men, in series 3. But away from historical sitcoms, Byrne continued performing on TV and in films until 2006. One of her last roles was in 2000's Kevin and Perry Go Large, where she handed a duo two eggs for doing some chores. Sadly, in June 2014, Byrne passed away at the retirement home for performers where she resided. Tim McInery Oh, I would love to be an actor. I had a great talent for it in my youth. I was the man of a thousand faces. So how do you come to choose the ugly mug you've got now? <laughs> Originally in the role of Lord Percy Percy for the first two Blackadder series, Tim McHenry became the Scarlet Pimpernel by Blackadder III, but he won many fans with his role as Captain Darling in the final series, and playing his descendant in Blackadder Back and Forth. McHenry is one of the few to appear in every main series of Blackadder. By 2004, McHenry joined the spy show Spooks as Oliver Mace, a role he reprised for the 2015 film. He also worked on Doctor Who, Sherlock, and teamed with Rowan Atkinson again for 2011's Johnny English Reborn. Yet arguably, McHenry's biggest role was as Robert Glover in Game of Thrones. 
been set to appear in the upcoming Joshua Oppenheimer film, The End. Miranda Richardson. No, it was me. Majesty. <laughs> Debuting in Blackadder II as eccentric Queen Elizabeth I, Miranda Richardson would go on to appear in the third and fourth series, as well as various specials. After branching out into different projects, she won the first of two Golden Globes for her performance in 1991's Enchanted April. Richardson continued showcasing her talent by being nominated for an Oscar for 1992's Damage, which she also won a BAFTA for, and another nomination for 1994's Tom and Viv. She boosted her massive profile further by becoming the dodgy journalist Rita Skeeter in 2005's Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Throw in her outstanding work in Maiden Dagenham and Sleepy Hollow, and Richardson has shown she's one of the UK's greatest actors. Hugh Lobby. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about, but it sounds damn saucy, you lucky thing. <laughs> After making his debut in Blackadder II, Hugh Laurie appeared in every other series of the show, including specials, usually as an eccentric yet naive rich person. Soon after, he worked closely with Stephen Fry on a couple of projects, as well as being involved in several comedy and family films. But then 2004 happened. That year, Laurie debuted in House, changing the trajectory of his career forever. Along with many, many nominations, he won two Golden Globes for his work on the show. After House, Laurie worked with Tom Hiddleston in 2016's The Night Manager, a role that secured another Golden Globe. Balancing his acting work with a great music career, Laurie became one of the most in-demand performers around. Stephen Fry I want to cover every inch of your gorgeous body in pepper and then sneeze all over you. Jumping into the Blackadder universe in the second series, Stephen Fry was a cornerstone of the franchise as he appeared in every other series and the specials. He then set up a bit of Fry and Laurie and Jeeves and Wooster alongside his friend Hugh Laurie. At the same time, Fry began working as an author, releasing many books over the years. On top of this, Fry also worked as a presenter famously enjoying a long stretch hosting QI, a job that resulted in many BAFTA nominations. An advocate for LGBTQIA plus rights, Fry took a role in the critically acclaimed show It's a Sin. His iconic voice has also worked in audiobooks, especially the Harry Potter franchise, as well as in several video games. Tony Robinson. Deny everything, Bulric. <laughs> Are you, Private Baldrick? No! With a cunning plan ready to go, Tony Robinson played descendants of the famous Baldrick, from the first Blackadder series to the last, with specials along the way. After the main show was done, he created and starred in Maid Marian and Her Merry Men, until it ended in 1994. <laughs> right, that's it, time's up! No, it isn't! Yes, it is, come on! <laughs> Since then, Robinson has popped up in various acting projects such as Man Down and My Wonderful Life, but he's best known for becoming a historical presenter, taking his talents onto the original Time Team series from 1994 until 2014. He also hosted several other documentaries, such as Walking Through History. In 2013, Robinson was knighted due to his public and political service. Rowan Atkinson. Oh, and just uh, one more thing. Yeah. That is for every schoolboy and schoolgirl for the next 400 years. As one of the creators and the iconic star of Blackadder, Rowan Atkinson was in every series and special of the show. Blackadder Goes Forth even awarded him a BAFTA for his work. But once the show finished, Atkinson continued his rise as one of the best UK comic actors ever by becoming Mr Bean, a role that secured him a second BAFTA. After grabbing a voice role in the acclaimed 1994 film The Lion King as Zazu, Atkinson popped up in various rom-com films over the years. He later parodied the spy genre with 2003's Johnny English, which sparked several sequels. Atkinson, who recently starred in Netflix's 2022 series Man vs. Bee, is set to appear in the upcoming prequel Wonka. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.